Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. To create a new group in Outlook, right click the word groups in the folder pane of Outlook. Then select the new group command from the pop-up menu that appears. Alternatively, click the new items drop down button that appears in the new button group on the home tab of the ribbon and then select the group command from the drop down menu. Alternatively, if you select any existing group or select any mail folder in the folder pane, you can then click the New Group button that appears in the Groups button group on the Home tab of the ribbon. Doing any of these actions then opens the Create Group dialog box. Enter a name for the group into the Name field. As you type the group's name, the group's email address, also called its group ID, is automatically created from the group name and appears in the email address field below the name. The server compares the group email address against existing group emails. If no conflicts are apparent, an available checkmark appears to the right of the group's email field. If you see a red not available icon appear at the right end of this field, then you must change the email address for the group by editing it as the email you entered is already assigned to an existing group. You can enter a description of the group into the description field. This group description appears to both members and non-members. Next, based on whatever classifications your organization provides, you can choose a group classification if needed from the classification dropdown. Next, use the Privacy dropdown to select either the public or private choice. By default, groups are marked as private, which means only approved group members in the organization can see what is inside the group. Selecting public, anyone in your organization can see group content, creates a group anyone in your organization can access. Selecting Private, only approved members can see what's inside, creates a group only approved members of your organization can access. The final option is a Send All Group Email and Events to Members Inboxes. They can change this setting later checkbox. Note that a member can stop following the group at any time to receive group messages only in the Groups Inbox. However, unchecking this checkbox makes all email and events only go to the Groups Inbox by default. After applying the desired group settings, click the Create button to create your new group in Outlook. Outlook creates your new group and the Add Members dialog box then opens, which lets you add members to the group. Adding members to groups is covered in the following lesson. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.